Hey everyone, I'm Sebastian and this is Don. She's going to help us with the dynamometer test. Um, I have the Active Force dynamometer handheld, but now we have it attached to her knee in a hip flex position, obviously. We're going to test to see what the ratio is of her hip extension compared to her knee extension, which is apparently a ratio that is important in regards to risk factors associated knee to knee conditions. So we're going to see how she fares on this right leg only and then we'll try knee extension and compare those two ratios. So um, I have our app right here. So we're gonna program this first. We're gonna do the right side, hip, extension, prone. Okay, Donnie, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so three, three, two, one, push, 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 push. All right, go and take a break. All right, ready again? Is it hard? Nope. Oh, I might have just shouted into the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> and go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job. Here we go again. Two, one. Go, 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 go. There you go. You got better and better. Uh, you guys should note that we didn't warm up before this, so we probably would normally do that. But that's probably why her first reading was 67.2 on the peak force scale. So, um, okay, so we're gonna take this off now. We're gonna change it to knee extension. Okay, now we're gonna change to knee extension. In order to do so though, this, uh, we have the other setting which is on, uh, this is on, on a hard plate. So since it's gonna be on Don's shin, she already said, I don't want that hard thing on there. So I'm gonna change this one out and we're gonna set it all up again. Okay, so now she's all set up here. We changed out the uh, plate or the connector to make sure that we don't beat her shin up. Uh, and now we're gonna add a measurement because we're only going to do the right side here, at least for, for this test. So we're going to do right side, knee, extension, seated. And then again, Dawn did not warm up, but let's just see what she got. Two, one, and push, 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 push. Good. Feels okay? I think so. Okay. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Good. Okay, got a little higher. And three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Good. Okay. So we're going to just forego the other side. Okay, so now what we have is um, if we were to look at uh, compare this data a little later. We're going to check to see what her knee extension is compared to her hip extension. And hip extension should generally win that fight. This is part of the handout that we can give a patient to see. As you can see, we tested a lot more things with this case here. But if we were only going to look at hip extension, you can see the picture is not exactly the same. These are pre-generated by active force. It's not based upon uh, how we actually tested it. Uh, our testing was based upon a different study. So we can see the right has hip extension strength of 84.43 and knee extension seated 85.13. What we want to see is a ratio where hip extension always beats knee extension or they should at least be equal. We can see this is generally equal, and I think if we redid the test, there's a chance that she actually can, can beat this. But you can see on this individual as well that this left knee beats the left hip, which is kind of a problem, especially when we're talking about um, knee injury prevention. Uh, I would extrapolate to say also low back conditions would also fall into this category. So we need to make sure that we can normalize these ratios with the person and give them the right rehab to do. Hope this was helpful, and if you guys want to be tested, just reach out.